Welcome to another photo review. In this video, I'm gonna take the images that you guys sent to the email that's here in the video description, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a critique. I've also been reading some of the comments, and this one's gonna go out in 4K, so that you could look at the details a little bit better on your big screen. Now, when it comes to the critique, I'm using a one to five stars. How many stars out of five is that photo getting? For camera settings, they're based on my experience, what works best with each individual situation. I'm also critiquing what's the composition. Whether it's for stock photography or not, the composition is very important. And we have different guidelines for stock or landscape or portrait. So I'm gonna do the best to give a honest review <laughs> um, that will help you understand a little bit more about the photography genre that you're in. And how are you editing these images? And now this is personal, but there's also uh, you know a fine line between reality and not so good. And the last thing I'm gonna critique is commercial value. Commercial value is interesting because a photo can have it today and not have it tomorrow or not have it today and then have it tomorrow based on what's happening in our world. If I give it five stars, it means it has everything it needs to sell. If it sells one time or a thousand times, that's out of my hands, out of my control, I don't know. The rest is up to your keywords, your descriptions, uh, and luck, I guess. But anyway. The first photo comes all the way from Israel. Thank you, Adore. This was a beautiful portrait. Let me look at the camera settings. 125th ISO 800 f 2.2. If you watch my stuff, you know that I like, I like to keep the ISO as low as possible. In this case, the shutter speed is perfect and the aperture is perfect. The ISO has to be high or you're going to have motion blur. You have to hold steady. You can see that it's low light. You can see in the eyes here, you got like a string light. So the lighting situation here is not the best. If possible, I would drop the ISO to 400, but now you're hand holding. If she moves a little bit, if you move a little bit, the photo is going to be blurred. In this case, I'm going to say five out of five, even though there's a little bit of noise here in the background, you can see that that's because of the ISO. I don't think this photo would get accepted for stock. Uh, the noise being one of them. The other thing is the F 2.2, the aperture. You can see that her eye is super sharp and crisp, but her nose and her mouth are not. When we're shooting for stock, you want more of the subject in focus. This is a beautiful portrait, beautiful style when it's soft and dreamy and soft in the skin uh, and you really draw your attention to the eyes and the focus is perfect. But the rest is a little bit soft and out of focus, which again, it looks great for a portrait, but not so much for, for stock photography. As far as camera settings, I'm going to say five out of five as a portrait. If you were talking stock, I'd probably go down to like a three out of five. Uh, the composition, again, as a portrait, it's perfect straight on you get your attention goes right to the eyes for stock i will say four out of five the eyes in the third look a little bit stronger if the camera was a little bit lower you could uh, get the eyes here like that but you would have to drop the camera and look the other way i think it would be a much stronger uh, stock composition uh, but in this case like i said i'm gonna say four out of five as far as the edit uh, the photo looks beautiful it looks very natural skin tones uh, I can't really tell that there was much uh, softening, maybe a little bit here sharpness, but that's fine. Five out of five on the edit. As far as commercial value, I'm gonna say two out of five because there's really not much of a concept. Portraits sell occasionally, but not much. You need a reason in uh, how this photo is gonna be used. You gotta think about that when you're shooting for stock. You're doing great with your photography, but if you wanna get into stock, try to find a, a, a reason that how the photo can be used and uh, a concept to elevate the, the sellability of that photo. Uh, but, all right, let's move on to the next photo. All right, this is the next photo. Let me look at uh, camera settings. One over 2,500 of a second ISO 200 F5. <sighs> okay, for this type of photo, it's a, a wide angle, 18 to 55 on a Nikon 3400. For this, I'm going to say three out of five or two out of five. The, your shutter speed is way too high and your aperture could increase or decrease in size to get more in focus and avoid, um, you see here the leaves are a little bit blurred or like 
It's not motion blur, that is lens blur because of your aperture of f5. There's a little bit of softness here. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, and over here, there's distortion and softness. It's not bad, but there's a little bit of that distortion from the lens. The center is sharp, but the edges typically tend to get a little softer when we shoot at f5 on a kit lens. An f11, I think would have been much better, giving you a little bit more detail. Uh, so in this case, I'm gonna say three out of five when it comes to the camera settings, because the shutter speed is way too high, your ISO could have been lower, and your aperture could have been like an f11 or something like that uh, for a scene like this. You're not trying to blur the background, you're trying to show more of what's happening. Uh, when you talk about composition, uh, it looks fine. I mean, you fit everything in the frame as much as possible. I would like to see it straighten up a little bit, but that's more on the edit. Uh, composition, you got the lines, you got that leading you towards the middle. A step back would have helped. So I'm going to say four out of five. If you look here, that's a little distracting. And if, if you took one step back, I think you would have had more of a leading line without this pillar here being a little distracting. As far as the edit, uh, so composition, I'm going to say four out of five. We're just at one step. As far as the edit, the buildings, they look like they're falling. That one looks sideways. Uh, so I'm gonna say four out of five again. Uh, when you push the J in Lightroom, it tells you what's blown out. So if you might be able to recover some of that. There we go. Um, and if I go here to straighten the, the buildings, let me remove the that stuff. Here we go, auto. It brings the buildings up and now it looks straighter, but like you can see, you're cutting the the leading lines and it's too close to the bottom. Commercial value, it's a church. I don't know where it's at. Um, I'm gonna say three out of five. Depending on where it's at and what happens in this town, the photo has potential to selling. If nothing happens, then you're probably not gonna sell it. Uh, finding a concept, finding people walking through the doors, people walking in a line. If you set up a tripod and do a slow shutter speed, that would give you a better concept and a reason that somebody could use the photo. So two to three out of five, let's go two out of five because there's not much happening. But like I said, commercial value changes depending on what happens in that town. Uh, great job, let's move on to the next. All right, here's the next photo. It looks like a butterfly on a flower. Now, camera settings, one four thousand of a second at ISO 25,600, F5.6. That is way too high of a ISO if you look closely you don't even have any detail on the butterfly because it's just noise. This camera, let me look at Nikon 3400. That is not gonna get accepted. And as far as camera settings, I'm gonna go to two out of five. You need to drop the ISO, drop the shutter speed. The butterfly, there's no way it's moving so fast that you can't freeze it at 400th of a second. Maybe the wings, but that's when you have to be patient. But yeah, you really need to bring down that ISO. That is way too fast for a picture like this. I'm assuming you had a kit lens, so there are zoom lenses. When you're zoomed all the way out, you can't really change your aperture, that's 5.6. Uh, that's tough with this setup, but as far as camera settings, I'm gonna say two out of five. You capture the photo, but there's not much you can do with the photo. Now, as far as composition, let's bring it back out. Uh, it looks fine, you're cutting the wings a little bit, but that's fine. Maybe if you, and I, I see the line you were going for, but you need to be a little bit more towards the front. Uh, if you cut it like that, maybe you just get more of the butterfly for stock. You would have some negative space here in the bottom, uh, but it's fine. See now when I crop it like that, I cut the flowers out. As far as the composition, I'm going to say three out of five. It could have been improved by just moving the camera a little bit more towards the flowers and getting that bokeh in the front as well as in the back. So three out of five in composition. As far as the edit, it's tough with all that noise. There's not much you can do. I can apply some basic noise reduction, but it's not really doing much because the photo's not there. So if you have the raw photo, you could use Lightroom Denoise, but that, I'm gonna say two out of five because there really wasn't much done to it. And then, let me reset. As far as the commercial value, butterflies, flowers, these don't sell that much. So I'm gonna go down to two out of five. If that particular type of butterfly and you have the keywords and all the right info on this butterfly, you might sell it. But it's not something that's gonna sell over and over again. The photo itself doesn't have what it needs to be a good selling image or to have that commercial value. Uh, not only in the edit, the camera settings and composition, so the commercial value is pretty low there. Uh, but good job, keep practicing, try to keep your ISO down uh, and look at the shutter speed to match 
the speed of what you're photographing. Uh, next. All right, the next photo, this uh, water drop on a leaf. I actually have images like this that are similar and I've sold them a few times. So now, camera settings. 25,600 ISO at 2,000 of a second f11. The leaf isn't moving, it's got drops. If it was blown in the wind, the drops would fall off. You don't need 2,000 of a second. That, I, that ISO at 25,000 needs to come back to a maximum of 400. Uh, use a tripod, drop down your shutter speed, but you, you can get that lower so that you have detail. When I zoom in here, there's no detail. The, the edges are soft, there's way too much noise without any texture or, you, you, yeah, that photo's not gonna get accepted for stock. And as far as camera settings, I'm gonna say two out of five. You gotta bring that ISO down. As far as the composition, uh, the water drop is in the middle, which in this case, it's fine. The lines are coming this way. Those lines frame it and this line frames it. Uh, four out of five, one more step here. This line would have been a little bit stronger and you would have framed it perfectly uh, or a little bit more symmetry. Uh, and then your subject in the middle, which is fine. So four out of five when it comes to the composition. As far as the edit, again, this is gonna be low. I'm gonna say two out of five. The noise is terrible. That could be reduced. A little bit more contrast will make it pop a little bit. Um, bring down, bring up the lights, something like that maybe. Just to give it um, a little bit more oomph. And then as far as the commercial value, I have sold similar images, but they don't sell that much. So you can't sell it. I'm gonna say three out of five. As it is, it doesn't have everything that an image needs to sell. Uh, a better composition, better camera settings. Now it has what it takes to sell the photo. Three out of five just means it could sell if the photo was sharp. Uh, next is some food. It looks good. Look at those hamburgers. Uh, I'm not a big fan of onions, but that looks, that looks really good. Uh, camera settings, one over one hundredth of a second, ISO 400 f 6.3. All right, so you can see here there's low light. There's one light source coming this way because of how the shadows are set. Uh, probably next to a window on a dark background. So your shutter speed is going to be slower. And in this case, the ISO 400 uh, is necessary. Uh, as far as camera settings, I'm going to say five out of five. These camera settings are necessary if you're hand holding. If you had a tripod, it's a little different. But for hand holding, these settings are good. As far as the composition, I'm gonna say four out of five just because this is cut and out of place. An editor could always crop later. Uh, if you're gonna use it yourself, I, th I think that is beautiful. It looks awesome. Yeah, a great job on this one. When it comes to edit, it looks a little warm. If we bring down your temperature, that's, there we go, minus 17. You see the colors look a little bit more natural and less yellow. The salt here, you can bring it down. I'm gonna say four out of five because like it, there wasn't much happening. Uh, just bringing down the temperature made a huge difference. Let me go to before and after here real quick. Uh, why? You can see the color on the overall image. That one looks a little bit yellow, that's before. And just by changing it, the salt looks white. Uh, the meat looks a little bit bluer, a little bit more natural than something like that. And then as far as commercial value, food sells, uh, food items sell a lot. Uh, this has almost everything it needs to sell, so I'm gonna say four out of five. Adjusting the the uh, edit, maybe a little bit more of the composition showing what's out of frame here. I think that might help a little bit, that's just personally. Uh, so I'm gonna say four out of five in the commercial value. That doesn't mean this is gonna sell a million times. That just means that it has almost everything it needs to be a, a, a sellable photo. Uh, great job, let's move on to the next one. All right, here's the next photo. One over 12 50th of a second, ISO 400, 1.4. That's a great concept. I've seen photos like this online. So things like this do sell and you're using people. Uh, when it comes to the sh um, shutter speed and all this, that's five out of five. Great camera settings. Your focus is right here in these two. When we're talking composition, let me go here to crop tool. You can see that their eyes in the upper third. It looks great. I'm just looking at these lines here in the sky that's a little distracting. Bringing that down, uh, maybe closing it here so that you're framed by these two poles. I think that looks a little bit uh, better. So I'm gonna say uh, four out of five, you're doing great. I just took a crop and brought it in a little bit more, but that's a great composition. They're on the third, she's walking this way, the line is leading that way, so your eye is going to where they're walking and the poles bring your eye where he's looking. So that's a very strong composition. As far as the edit, 
it doesn't seem like it was edited um it looks kind of soft i would like to see a little bit more contrast make it pop just a little bit more that might be a little bit too much just make the colors uh really a little bit more saturated just by adding contrast if we go before and after you can see that that pops if you're looking through a grid that's going to pop and make the buyer look at this one more than anything that doesn't pop if that makes sense so as far as the edit i'm going to say four out of five i don't think this was edited uh it doesn't look like it and as far as the commercial value like i said i've seen photos like this uh, i'm going to say four out of five because it's missing that frame it's missing this frame right here uh, it's also missing the edit it has everything else it needs to sell but i think that right there has a little bit more potential and that's why i'm saying four out of five instead of five out of five because you were missing those tweaks um concepts people things like this do sell so let's move on to the next photo all right now the tables have turned that's the next photo now the two girls and she's looking at him uh camera settings the same as before 1.4 iso 100 uh one twelve fiftieth of a second so in this case and it's very similar to before she has more focus than he does i think an aperture of f4 would have been a little bit better you would connect the two elements uh just slightly better i'm gonna say four out of five instead of five instead of five out of five like the previous photo because he's a little bit too fuzzy the distance between the subject and the camera and the camera in the background i'm gonna make that more fuzzy at 1.4 now as far as the composition it looks like a beautiful park but there's a pole right in the middle see the eyes are higher in the third everything else looks great i'm gonna say four out of five because of that pole now that has nothing to do with your camera and the subject that has to do with paying attention to the elements that are going to be in the photo so four out of five in the composition the edit again i don't think this was edited same thing I did before, just adding a little bit of contrast, maybe brighten it up a little bit, breaking down the highlights, just make the photo pop a little bit more than it was before. Editing your photos is very important. Uh, it's part of the process, straight out of camera, especially if it's a raw photo, it's gonna be missing contrast, it's gonna be missing the color, and this is up to you to make the adjustments the way you feel fit the photo better. If you're trying to sell them for stock, which I think it is because that's a concept, you need to uh, make it pop a little bit more and that's all in the edit as far as commercial value same thing i said before four out of five because adding the contrast adding removing this thing i think it's going to help uh, and it has everything that it needs to sell uh three out of five because there's three things and then that will make it two out of five but it has almost everything it needs so three out of five by changing the aperture to f4 he will be a little bit sharper the concept will be stronger, not just somebody passing by, but somebody that they're looking at. Um, eliminating that poll and the contrast would make it a, a much more sellable photo. So it has what it needs, but it could be brought up a little bit more. Great job, let's move on to the next photo. All right, this is the next photo. That's a basketball and a roll of tape. One one hundredth of a second iso 5600 at f8 your iso is way too high i'm gonna say three out of five on this one because your iso just you can see the grain there's no detail in the middle the noise is is way too high you need it for a shot like this you need a tripod you need to slow down your your shutter speed even more the f8 is good but your shutter speed and your iso are just way, way off uh, that would be like a three second photo if you bring your ISO down to 100. But you have to do that if you don't have good lighting. As far as the composition, it's isolated on white, so it's in the middle. If it was isolated on white, it doesn't matter. You could use that anywhere, that's fine. Five out of five when it comes to composition. Four out of five because of this tape. If you really, it's hard when you try to get the ball to stay you need to find like clay or something you can put behind the ball so it's not visible um but as far uh, as far as a photo of a ball on a roll of tape uh the composition is going to be five out of four out of five because of how the tape is cut if that was cut with a scissor it would look more professional if it was in the back it would look better but for a photo of what it is i'm gonna say four out of five uh edit it's very noisy i don't think you tried to remove the the noise uh here we go 
That's a little better, but now it's just kind of soft. Yeah. It just make it, makes it a little bit mushy. Uh, and the white background is not isolated. There's more white on the ball than on the background. You can see how if when I bring it up, it comes up on the ball first and not so much in the background. So as far as the edit, this doesn't have any. I'm gonna say three out of five because I don't see any. Commercial value of a ball on a roll of tape, I, I honestly don't see it. I'm gonna say one out of five. Uh, it's an object, but there's another object and there's just not much happening. It's not much of a concept. The ball by itself, maybe a hand on the ball will be better. Uh, just objects like this, that tape and a ball just don't really go together. So I don't see how that would be used. If you have a different idea, let me know in the comments. I'm just not seeing it here. So let's move on to the next photo. All right, this is the next photo. So it's a caution wet floor sign. One, one over 100th of a second, ISO 1600 at f2.8. So the ISO is a little high. Let's look here in the shadows. You can see a little bit of noise. Uh, but if you're hand holding at 100th of a second, that might be, what camera is it? Fuji X-T2, I'm not sure if this camera has a in-body stabilizer. I know that with my camera, I can hold it sometimes for up to a half a second. So I'm gonna say four out of five when it comes to these camera settings, just because I believe you could have dropped that to 100 and brought the ISO lower. Uh, but that's just me being me because I like lower ISOs. But because of that ISO, I don't think that photo is gonna get accepted to stock. Uh, when we talk about composition, that looks good. You got the wet floor. A reflection would have been nice, but that's just a little bit more artistic. You drop it, you see the reflection, and you look down the hallway. Uh, this has to be editorial anyway, because it has a sign. Uh, so if you include people walking and things like that, as far as composition, it looks good in the third. The line going across the image looks fine. So I'm gonna say four out of five, just because a reflection would have been nicer. <laughs> and as far as the edit, I don't think there was anything done because I still see noise. ISO 1600 might be a little bit much. I mean, I can drop it here a little bit uh, without losing detail on the design. As far as an edit, I'm gonna say four out of five because there's not much you can do with a photo like this. It's self-explanatory. There's not really anything intricate happening here. Uh, and as far as commercial value, uh, if somebody falls on a wet floor and hurts themselves, they're gonna be looking for a photo like this. The news is gonna be looking for a photo like that. So commercial value is high. Uh, I'm gonna say four out of five, and it'd be better if you added a little bit more of a reflection and edited the photo to remove that noise or took the photo in a way that that noise would have been reduced. But it is a photo that has the potential of selling, and as it is, it has all the elements. I just don't know that it's gonna get accepted because of the, the high ISO noise. But good job, next. All right, the next photo, here we're looking at two girls watching the game. Uh, great setup, the TV's blurred, it looks good. 1 over 250th of a second, 100 f 1.6. Perfect, uh, great camera settings. The TV might be a little distracting, but I think you know what it is. Uh, I'm gonna say four out of five because of the 1.6. It looks good, but I think a little bit more context would be better. I used to do the same thing when I bought the lens at 1.4. You, I used it at 1.4 all the time, uh, but some photos need a little bit more context. When you look at this blurb here, I know that's a TV, but it's missing a little bit of that context and that's the 1.6. Again, I'm making a critique so I have to find things to critique. Now, as far as the, uh, what did I say? Four out of five. As far as the composition, all right, this up here, it's a little distracting and I think your focus is right in the middle. Remember, try to keep the eyes on the upper third, whether we drop the camera or crop it, I think it would look best if we had a crop like, eh, it would look best here with the eyes in the upper third. It leads the viewer, you can see the line would go right here. Uh, I like this stuff in the background, so I think the best thing would have been to drop the camera just slightly. Um, but that's that's not bad. I mean, the eyes are still not where I want them. <laughs> uh, but that's a, that's a better composition. So I'm gonna say three out of five. Uh, negative space like that is fine, but the action is happening in the middle. So all this, you're not gonna be adding text as an editor to this side of the photo. You're gonna write text and then add the photo, if it's a stock photo. As far as the edit, it looks good, it looks very natural. Uh, I'm gonna say four out of, yeah, it looks, you know what, it looks, the colors, if I add more contrast, it looks fake. So I'm gonna say five out of five in the edit. 
uh, with commercial value. It has everything it needs to sell. The focus is sharp. The image looks good. Uh, I don't know how you got both all four eyes in focus at f1.6, but that's that's a, a great job. If the composition was lower or the crop was a little bit lower, I think you would have a lot more commercial value, but it's good. It has, it has what it needs to sell. It's got a concept. It's got people. It's got good lighting. It's a photo that could be used uh, many times, especially in Argentina. I hope that's Argentina. <laughs> I haven't followed sports in a long time. So four out of five in the commercial value because a simple crop, removing that distraction up there would give you a much better and a much more sellable photo, I believe. But good job on this one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, this is the next photo. ISO 100 F56, a one over 640th of a second. It's a wide angle, it's a landscape. Uh, it's a little washed out, the sky. I'm gonna say four out of five in these camera settings. A better aperture would have been better. Wide angles, like I've said in other videos, wide angles tend to distort the edges. So as far as the camera settings, an F8, F11, I think would have been better. Now, as far as composition, uh, let's look here. Everything is right in the center. The sky doesn't really have much happening. This white line here is a little distracting because it doesn't follow, it just ends. Uh, and uh, there's some people here in the corner. And you can see the, the lens distractions here. It has to be an editorial because this is Coca-Cola. That's some artwork, there's other people. Uh, there's some lights down there, the shadow. Composition, I'm gonna say three out of five. Uh, you have this line, but that other bright line there is a little distracting. If we change it just a little bit, bring that down. I think that looks a little bit better. Make it more about the building and ignore the other lights. And everybody. there's another person there, so it has to be editorial. Um, it looks fine, but I think it could be improved just by eliminating that white line there that looks that's distracting. It's the brightest part of the image, so your eye goes to that side and not to the middle. As far as the edit, it doesn't look like it had any. Uh, the sky is way too washed out and it, it could benefit from a little bit more color, more contrast, maybe dropping the, uh, the temperature. So three out of five in the edit, just because it needs a little bit more oomph, a little bit of help. Uh, and as far as the commercial value, uh, photos like this of places tend to sell. The lighting is not helping you, so commercial value is going to be lower. If, if do a search if you find photos like this that are better chances are those are going to sell more than this one different time of day would be helpful early morning low light from sunset i think it will get better lighting inside different shadows and i think it will look at this sky will look better especially around sunset or sunrise uh commercial value i'm going to say three out of five because if it is a famous place there's always that chance that it could sell it has the things necessary to make it a sellable photo it just could be improved by different time different composition different camera settings all these things would benefit that commercial value so i'm going to say three out of five and let's move on to the next photo all right this is the next photo and i have no information on it it just says 4000 by 6000 pixels it's an elephant with the shadow it's artwork that might even be huh I wonder what the other photo had. It looks like the same building. Huh. Anyway, you can see the, the difference. That one looks more yellow, uh, purplish. This one has a more purple blue tone. So just the white balance change from area to area. Now this one looks fine. I mean, as far as camera settings, I don't have them, so let's skip. Composition, again, try to keep your main elements in frame. There's not much in the sky and your crop and the rock. So if you drop the camera, you show more of the rock, show more of your main subject uh, and not so much of the sky. That's a secondary element. Uh, three out of five, you could drop the camera here, move to the right, show more of that building and give you more of a complete story and not just an elephant uh, with the base that's cut off. Three out of five in the composition. As far as the edit, it doesn't have a lot going on. Uh, a little bit more contrast, I think, would benefit. I always go to contrast. Bring down the highlights, add the contrast. You can see right away that it doesn't look washed out. The sky came back, it looks better. So as far as the edit, I'm also gonna say three out of five because these are very simple things. Just two clicks and it brought back the sky and made it pop a little bit more. And as far as commercial value, uh, 
again i'm not seeing it what am i seeing here there's somebody here in the background uh that needs to be photoshopped out or just wait for them to move to take the photo commercial value it's hard to say i don't know where this is i do sell photos of places i visited it has if with the right keywords the right description you have an image that has potential i just don't think it's going to be a bestseller because of the lighting the composition and it's just missing that wow factor when it comes to uh making it pop with the edit uh it's a good photo the focus is good everything is good uploaded it should get accepted but i think it could be it could benefit from a different composition and a little bit of uh tweaks here on the comp on the edits uh good job let's see what's next oh and that is the last photo because this is the one that we started with so thank you very much for watching for everybody sending these photos i'm very thankful i know having your photos critiqued is not the easiest thing in the world but it is very helpful to everybody me and bambi want to thank everybody for supporting the channel there's links down below a lot of people have been donating a lot of people have been using my amazon links which is awesome uh, when you click those links, it takes you to Amazon. Anything you buy, Amazon gives you a small commission. It doesn't have to be the item on that link. So thank you very much to everybody that's doing that. It's really beneficial and helpful. All right? And again, thank you very much for sending the photos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Or we will. I don't know what we're doing, but we'll see you next time. Bye. Do a drink? She was thirsty. <laughs>